Hey, what is going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 amazing iPhone apps that I believe every iPhone user must have on their device in 2022. Now, of course, apps are what makes our device. Some apps will really add amazing new features to your iPhone, allowing you to do even more with your device. And of course, have the ability to have all those extra features using these apps, which most of them are actually free from the app store. Now, before we get into the apps, I just want to ask you guys for a quick favor. That little like button on this video really helps out a lot so if you enjoy the video and of course you like the apps that you see on this video make sure you smash that like button it really helps a lot Let's first take a moment to thank the sponsor for today's video, NordVPN, by far the best VPN solution for iPhone users, with a very easy to use interface that lets you connect with one click or connect automatically by simply enabling the auto connect feature. With more than 5,200 servers in 60 different countries, you can run it in up to six different devices and of course it will support every major platform, macOS, iOS, Windows, Android, Linux, and it will even run on your Android TV. And it offers Offers some really amazing features like the double VPN for extra protection, which will let users route their traffic through two VPN servers, that way doubling the encryption. And NordVPN is also upgrading to collocated and up to 10 gigabytes per second servers. You can find streaming platforms at lower price and when a platform isn't available in your country, you can find it using NordVPN. And of course, unlock your favorite games and your restricted servers. That way your location doesn't limit where you can play. Make sure to give it a try by checking out the link right down below in the description of the video to get a two year plan plus one additional month with a huge discount. And now it's risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. Starting things off with Search Filter. Now, this is an app that you install for Safari on iOS 15. It's basically a Safari extension, but it will add a very, very useful feature. So, let's say you Google something on Safari and you will see, of course, results from all over the place here. So, you get from different domains, different websites, and all that. But let's say you see like a result from a website that you don't want to see anymore whenever you search on Google. Basically, you want to remove that completely. With this extension installed, all you have to do is just delete that just like that and you're good to go. You will never see again that result on your Google search from that domain. Now, if you tap here and you go to your extensions right here, tap on search filter, you will see all the domains that you have removed. Now, of course, you can go ahead and recover any one of them from here if you want to again keep receiving like search results from those domains. But it's really useful if you see domains like that you don't want to see on your search results on Google, simply swipe on them, delete them, and you will never see them again. Next up is camera remote. Now this one is super cool. It'll allow you to have one of your iPhones or maybe a phone from your friend as a remote when you're taking pictures. So you basically install the app in both devices and you can start hosting right here and the other person just taps join and of course they will be able to find your device. Once they found it, you can of course accept it right here. So here I have accepted my iPad Pro and here now I have the choice to choose whether I want to use this as a camera or as a remote control. So basically I can choose this as a remote control and then from here I can go ahead and just have basically control over the camera of my iPad Pro. Of course, go ahead and take a picture simply by tapping there. So you leave your phone, your other phone or maybe your iPad on a distance. You don't wanna have to set the timer and then run to catch the timer or maybe you will get a pose that you don't like. With this, you will just take a look at the camera and of course just take pictures from here. You can even start a set right there that will shoot three photos every three seconds or maybe change that to five seconds or change the number of photos right there. Super cool and of course very very useful. Turn one of the phones into remote and the other into the camera. The next app for the video is called Who Touched My Phone. Now this is pretty cool. It will basically protect your phone. Let's say you leave your phone somewhere on a table, maybe on an office or wherever you are. You just want to see if someone is actually trying to peek something at your phone. You can install this app and what you need to do is just tap this right here and it will turn it on and then just lock your device. So you tap here and now what you need to do is lock your device without leaving the app and once someone touches your iPhone, it will actually take a picture of that person. 
Now to enter the app, you will need a passcode, which of course you will set at the beginning once you install this app. And once you go back into the app, you can just go to reports and you will see right here all of the pictures that the iPhone has taken of someone that tried to look at your phone. The pictures of course will be taken with the front facing camera. And we'll have another feature here called don't touch. If you turn this on, it will basically set off an alarm every time someone will pick up the phone from a table. You leave some phone, your phone on the table, someone picks it up, it will play quite a big alarm here. So you can set the delay of the alarm start right there. So after one second that someone touches it, or maybe two seconds, how many you want, and you will have all kinds of different sounds here to choose from and set them as the alarm when someone picks up your phone from a table. Floating player is up next. I did a dedicated video on this app. It didn't do that good, but the app is pretty awesome. Even though it is paid, you have to pay 99 cents for the app from the app store, but it adds this awesome feature for Spotify and Apple Music. You can have Spotify and Apple Music on picture in picture so you can play songs and of course change them pause them go back to the other to the previous song directly from the picture in picture player really cool and of course super useful now what you will need to do once you install the app it will ask you to which service you want to connect you can connect to spotify or you can connect of course to apple music and you will have some options here you can show the playback controls of course you want to do that you can show skip track right there and you can show the album name or not from here and you can just tap on start stop picture in picture and it will start it automatically for whichever service you use super super useful anywhere on ios you will have control over your music next up is an app called tap to search now you can use this app from anywhere on ios now the way it works it basically allows you to just search for anything you want from anywhere on ios so if you just selected a word all you have to do is tap on share and then you can tap here web search and it will show you web results for that what you have searched for directly on that app with google here so it will google anything from anywhere and it will show you the browser here within that app without having to go to safari of course you will have the option here to move to safari but if you don't want to do that you can just go ahead and use this feature anywhere on ios simply select any word you want tap the share button and search it on the web the next app for the video is called Clipboard and it allows you to quickly copy and paste things using the keyboard of your iPhone and of course save things as well or even add different phrases or different things that you need to use frequently so you don't have to type them manually. So right here if I copy something all I have to do is just go to that keyboard switch from here of course you first have to add it through the general settings and you can see right here it has already copied that into the device into the keyboard or right here so you can go to a different look here or right here you can have of course the delete button right there you can hide the keyboard and you can copy and paste anything you want so if i just want to copy that i can do that from here if i want to cut it i can do, or paste it i can do that from here so anywhere on ios let's say i want to paste like my email right here i can tap there and paste my email as easy as that now those are automatic of course that will copy anything that you have copied on your clipboard but you can also add here save text so you can use these anywhere you want on ios and you will have them all the time right there on your keyboard things that of course you do use frequently like your email or maybe a phone number or something like that next up is iSpreadsheet. now this app is pretty simple to use it allows to create spreadsheets on your ios device pretty cool right so i know this app probably is not for everyone but if you need to create spreadsheets and you maybe don't have access to a computer or you just want to do it from your phone then you can go ahead and do it with this app you can see very simple to use go ahead enter any text you want here and of course you can go ahead and then just use all the different tools here copy paste change the fonts change the colors of course move around you can change the colors of the cells here and the, and the rows and of course the color of the text change the font do anything you want pretty awesome of course if you're someone that needs this this might be very very helpful and of course the app is totally free the next app for the video is called web to pdf I know you can take a screenshot and save the whole website as a PDF file on iOS, but it's not the same as this app. Now you can see this is an example here. Here's the one that I took with the screenshot feature of iOS. Basically, the whole website is just one page, one page of PDF. 
and this one right here is the one that i took with this app it's the same website of course but you can see the difference here how much better this looks and of course you have all the different pages separated there and you can edit these and do anything you want now the way you do this you go into a website all you have to do is simply go ahead and copy the url of that website then go into the app right here just paste the url click on search and you're good to go you can go ahead and tap that button right there and download this as a pdf file of course you can go ahead and share this or maybe just go ahead and save this pdf to your files as easy as that you will have any website you'd want as a full pdf file with all the pages that you can edit remove or maybe maybe even add something to that website Next up is Snappic. Now this one is for iOS 14 users. If you're on iOS 15, you have the live text feature, you don't need this. But if you're on iOS 14, then of course you will need this feature. So you can use the camera of your iPhone to scan any text you want and it will recognize the text from anywhere. You can use like a document or you can just load a picture. So let's load one. So here I have a screenshot from my device and you can see it will recognize all the text that's on that screenshot i can go ahead and copy that text and of course use it anywhere i want so this is pretty simple to use straightforward and of course as i said if you're not on ios 15 you're an older version you might need this app lens is the last app for this video and it allows to just capture any color you want from the camera and of course save that color so all you have to do is of course just move the app around and you can see that little dot indicator that's on the middle of the app that way you of course go ahead and choose the color and once you have done that you can tap right there and lock that color and of course even save it so you tap right there you can save that color and you will have here all the colors and all the codes that you need so anytime you need to know exact how a color is basically the numbers the code the code of that color you can go ahead and use this app simply point that little circle right there and you will go ahead and just pick any color you want and of course then go ahead and save that color easily on your device simply by tapping there I just do that once more there we go tap save and now you will have of course any color that you need saved right on your device so that's basically it for this video guys these are 10 apps that i believe iphone users need to have on their device in 2022 thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos and i'll see you on the next one